season three, we're coming out of the pandemic. It It's two years after the end of season two. And there's this lingering sense of uncertainty. It is time to smash and shatter. Let's burn it all down. You know, will we ever get back to before times? And the answer is no, of course not. We're not gonna go back. Um, emotionally, everyone's kind of floating around, um, trying to find their footing, looking for home. And so, they may think what they want, you know, are all of our people, but sometimes they're carrying a lot of secrets and lies. And um, we tell ourselves a lot of these lies. Our showrunner, brilliant writer, um, created a beautiful season, very intricately woven um, with our characters and how they relate to the world we're living in and how they report on it. And, um, you know, that goes from... You know, the pandemic was so extreme. Black Lives Matter, mm -hmm. a reckoning with profound injustice and, um, you know, billionaires. At one, one every minute, every 24 hours. And, you know, in walks John Hamm, mm -hmm. our tech billionaire, and <laughs> comes into the story and forces everybody to declare themselves. And uh, he changes UBA forever. I, the reason I joined on to this project was I love the whole behind the scenes uh, conflicts of our lives. And, you know, I, I was a big fan of Larry Sanders show. Uh, and um, I really love seeing, you know, we wake up to these characters in the morning and everything, you know, they make everything feel, okay, I can make it through the day. So you, you have the on camera, everything's bright, everything's rosy. Mm -hmm. In the reality, everything is not rosy. Everything is not bright. And then we fall into our characters and their inner conflicts and how messy they are and how privileged they are and how screwed up they are and how flawed they are, just like you and me. You know, we wake up, we feel horrible or we feel great. And how do we get through the day? And I really like exploring our characters and how they react in this world that we live in.